Our topic is positive side of your problems. My friends, are you unable to rectify and resolve your family problems, your children's pressure, and your extended family matters in spite of your amicable communication and hard work? Or are you really tired of listening to your spouse's discouraging and harsh words which make you upset, emotional, hurt and offended? Or are you thinking to hurt yourself or even to give up your life just because you are facing challenges and negative comments one after another which is not at all endurable and resolvable? Our devotion comes to us from Proverbs chapter 24 verse 16. For the righteous falls seven times and raises again, but the wicked stumble in times of calamity. My dear brothers and sisters, problems, failures, deceptions, hurt and disappointments are unstoppable and inevitable in everyone's life. But today, in the name of Jesus, you can certainly overcome all the above said issues only if you understand the positive sides of your problems and the power of your problems. In other words, your problems can never ever prevail you if you take your problems in your control and custody. Our question for today's meditation is, what is the power of your problems? Or what are the positive sides of your problems? Again, Bible can help you in three ways. Number one, Job 23 verse 10. You will discover yourself. My friends, God permits your problems and failures not to destroy you, but helps you to understand where you are weak and where you are strong. If you didn't have problems, you wouldn't know your strength and energy. Your problems are your energy parameter. You understood your skills and potential when you were tested and tried. Even a cat will one day become like a tiger when it is harassed. So also, you can certainly stand up vehemently when problems press you. Never hate your problems because your problem is your mirror to see you who you are. If you run away from problems, you are weak. But if your problems runs away, if you stand for your rights. Job says in the Bible, after I am tested, I will shine like gold. That's the positive side of your problems. Number two, 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. You will discover you were mentor. My friends, you would be weak at your first problem, in your first failure, but you will be experienced and expert at your second failure and problem because now you are experienced and expert as your first problem taught you the lesson. Never give up in your first failure itself because the victory will be yours only at the second time as you are now strong, as you are now brave, experienced and matured. People come to you for prayer and blessings because your problem and pain once were your teacher and mentor. From today, don't worry about your problem, but find out what lesson God has inserted in your problems. Number three, 2 Timothy chapter 4, 16, 17. You will discover your lover. My dear brothers and sisters, as long as everything was perfect in your life, many will be with you and many will be around you. But you will never see many of them with you when you pass through problems and tears. Your problems are to damage you, but help you to discover who is your true friend, who is your true lover, and who is your true supporter. 
Never be cheated by trusting everyone, but open your eyes and see who will be strong to be with you in your tribulation, and they are your true people. Here is the hope for you from Isaiah 43, verse 2. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Dear friends, praise the Lord for your friends who are with you in your trouble. Praise the Lord for your problems where you have learned and experienced a greater strength in your life. Let's pray. Heavenly God, there may be some time we hated our problems. But today we can understand there are some positive sides of our problem where we can learn, where we can understand people, where we can understand our strength, where we can understand who will be with us during our problems. Thank you so much, dear Lord, that you are always with us. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you.